Hi guys, Carrie here. Thanks for joining me tonight. I hope you guys all had a fantastic Thanksgiving. And if you guys went Black Friday shopping, I hope that all went well. Um, I did lie. I actually did end up going Black Friday shopping. It wasn't too bad because it was afternoon on Friday. Um, first time I've ever been. Uh, I will never go on Thanksgiving night, that's for sure. Um, but tonight we'll be watching The Walking Dead Season 8, Episode 6, The King, The Widow, and Rick. Uh, last episode we got to see the Sanctuary and the Saviors and finally got to see Father Gabriel and Negan. Um, but it looks like this episode we won't get to see them. We'll be focusing on the Hilltop, Alexandria, and the Kingdom. So it should be a good episode. We haven't been to Alexandria since the premiere when Rick was saying goodbye to Michonne and Carl. Um, so yeah, seems like... It's going to be action-packed, and also we get to see the junkyard because Rick was heading there, and we saw from the preview that he was standing in the circle of them. Uh, so, should be a good episode, and thanks again for joining me. Let's get started. By the time it was over, there weren't any saviors left standing. Cut off from their supplies, every hour that goes by, we're making them weaker. The lookouts are all around the compound. They open the door, we fire. What the? This can be our last fight. Oh my gosh! As if she couldn't get any stranger. If she answered the door like that, you'll scare whatever's out there. Jesus! Ooh, they're still in! Jesus! Just hoping you'd see him. Hi. Save the bullets and be done with it. Gregory. What? I'm just saying what everybody inside there is thinking. Go inside. Now. Come on, Gregory. <laughs> you know I'm right. It's been walked back by a child. Trust you. Shot you. You grazed me. I would have still been mad if you'd shot me. We kill your people. We killed some of yours too. I wanted to tell you that you were right when you didn't kill Dwight. We wouldn't have gotten this far without him. The thing is, I know what you said, but after this, I'm gonna kill him. I want it to be me. Maybe it could be you, Meatball. Maybe we don't got to wait so long. They want to kill Dwight. What are they doing? Did you sign up for this? Yeah. Let me join your group. I'm gonna ask you a few questions. I need you to answer honestly, okay? Aww. Okay. How many walkers have you killed? I know it's hard to keep track. 237. Through. Really? Dang. Give or take a couple. 
right? If I was honoring my dad, we wouldn't be talking right now. <laughs> I definitely wouldn't bring you back to my community. Margaret, all, all due respect, uh, I'm just straight shooting here. We can't let people we don't trust run around inside our walls. You're right, Gregory. Oh, no. In fact, I couldn't stop thinking about what you told me yesterday. <laughs> you see, I grew up on a farm. I know all about sheep and wolves. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on, Gregory. Oh, Gregory. Oh, are you serious, Eduardo? Wait, this this can't. Wait, calm down. No, don't tell me to calm down. I'm not gonna go in there. You can't, Maggie. Look, just do it. Stop, just for a minute. Calm just do down. It. No, please, God, no, God. Oh. Oh. I'm responsible for you now. That's how it works. I don't want to make any trouble. Aww. Your dad didn't want anything to do with me. He didn't, but... Sometimes kids have to find their own way to show their parents the way. You screwed up once. I'm not gonna let you get us all killed. He's smart. You think they're gonna kill us? Just keep it together. This place is gonna be ours.
Gregory's fine. He's trying to suck up to the saviors now. <laughs> I just wanted to say, I think you did the right thing. And I wanted to thank you. Don't. The saviors in that pen might be bargaining chips. an action-packed episode but it um I, th I personally feel it had a lot for story development um because you know we only have one more episode before the mid-season finale um but I actually I really liked this episode because it gave us a lot of you know movement towards you know the final battle because right now it's kind of the calm before the storm I feel um, finally got to see Dylan again, yay. I don't know why, he just, he's just, he's one of my new favorite characters. Um, seems like a good guy, uh, he's smart, you know, to Jared, he's like, you know, you're gonna get us all killed, and he didn't run away when they had the walker attack on the hill, and also he surrendered, he's like, don't be stupid, guys. Um, Maggie... I see Jesus' point, but I just know from the history of the show, just kill him. Like, but, you know, I see Jesus isn't one well, Rick's point, you know? Well, even Negan believes it. Like, people are the future, and especially in this world, because between the kingdom, the sanctuary, or the kingdom, the hilltop, and Alexandria, how many people do they really have? I mean, you need to be able to grow the population. So, it'll be interesting to see if Maggie and Jesus have any more conflicts. Um, I never think those would be physical. I mean, she's pregnant. But then, um, Aaron returned, and it was sad because, you know, it's the first time we've seen him since Eric died. Maggie has Gracie now, um, and then Gregory, I really feel like Gregory's gonna die, maybe by the mid-season finale, but definitely in season 8, but he's just, he's funny, I mean, he's, he's Gregory, so I completely agree with Maggie throwing him in there, and once she said, you're right, I was like, oh no, okay, he's going in, um, yeah, um, overall I would say a really good episode. It, it had a lot of story development in, in it um, to prepare us for the finale. Um, next week it looks like well, we're going to see pretty much everybody, kind of. Um, you know, the garbage people locked Rick in the thing. And I, th I thought they released him, like let him walk out of there. But no, he was in um, the crate naked. And that's the other thing, uh, Jadis just sits around making an arts and crafts naked. Um, but it looks like, you know, when they had Rick coming out with just his briefs on, that sounded like a walker nearby, so I wonder if they're going to put him through another test like they did the first time they met him, with the walker with all the spikes on him. Um, yeah, like I said before, J Jadis would be stupid not to go back to Rick because... She's too stubborn to go with Negan. Negan doesn't want um, a stubborn deputy, per se. Um, he wants people to fall into place, and Jadis doesn't do that. So, interesting to see what happens with that. We're going to see you know, Eugene and Dwight. I don't know if 
Eugene's gonna tell Dwight he knows it's him. Um, Daryl and Tara. I might have been misreading this, but it sounded like Daryl and Tara want to kill Dwight, which could very well possibly happen because it is The Walking Dead. But Dwight is in the comics and he's still alive. But again, Daryl's not in the comics, so and he's kind of like you know the spinning image personality-wise, you know, persona-wise as, um, well, him and Dwight, Dwight and Daryl are pretty much the same in that regard. So I don't know if they would kill off Dwight. I hope not, because I, I do like him now. Um, so we will have to see. Um, so again, I want to thank you guys for joining me, and join me next week for The Walking Dead Season 8 Episode 7, titled Time After Time. I'm sorry, no, not Time After Time. Time for After. Yeah, sorry. So next week's episode, Season 8, Episode 7, Time for After. Um, so yeah, again, thanks for joining me. I will see you guys next week. If you could, subscribe to my channel, and you can also follow me on Instagram and Twitter at TheRealCW. So, have a good week, guys. See you next week. Bye.